This is a trophy bass pond, and this is a $110 swim bait. And I will be throwing it all day long for a big fish. Oh my god. Oh, it's a good one. Oh my gosh, stay on. It's a big one. 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 Absolutely smashed the swim bait. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're out here and today we're going to be fishing with a crazy Japanese swim bait. The sun is currently coming up at the moment which means the big bass are ready to be caught and right here we have the DRT Joker. Check this thing out. It's a massive $110 swim bait and we're going to be throwing this thing around today in search of a big bass. All right, so right here we have the DRT Joker, which is actually one of the craziest swim baits that I think I've ever seen. And that is because of just how wide this swim bait is. The top half of this thing is huge. I don't know why this bait is so wide, but apparently it has some really crazy actions. There's actually two different actions. There's the one with the lip in that I think is supposed to be kind of like a wake bait. And then you can take it out and make kind of a gliding action but this is like a floating wake bait swim bait, which I've never really tossed around. So I'm actually very interested in this thing. Let's go ahead and crack this thing open and see what we're working with. Well, here she is. That is a big, interesting swim bait. I mean, look at the top dimensions on this thing. Beautiful color though. Big old bill, check that thing out. I'm hyped for this. Truthfully, this thing is actually very light for how big this thing is. So I'm pretty hyped up for this. I mean, check out the tail on that thing. You got like the little V cut tail. It's pretty long. And then you have the back piece of the body. You have the top piece, which is freaking huge. Look at this, this is wild. And then you have this massive little bill up here. And then you have the, uh, the DRT logo up there with some big old hooks down there. Check them things out. They are massive. So today's goal, is to uh, first off not lose this $110 lure because this thing is expensive. But second off is to find a big bass with this thing. I know it does some crazy actions. I'm hyped up. But with that being said, we're gonna go ahead, tie this thing up, head out onto the John boat, and we're gonna see if we can't haul in a big, we're looking six, seven, eight, nine, a 10 pounder range. I want a big one. That's the bait to do it. Let's go ahead and uh, I'll see you guys out there. All right, we got ourselves a beautiful morning. The sun is behind a little bit of clouds that keeps coming in and out. It's super nice out this morning. It's not too cold, it's not too hot, which I think it's gonna be really good for these fish. And I'm just excited to be here. Like, just you can't beat a good day out on the water, nice weather, and the chance to catch a big fish. And right here, we have our DRT Joker. And this is a big fat body swim bait that has a wake bait and a glide bait action all in one. This bad boy actually floats and it's supposed to have a pretty crazy action. So the only thing to do is to uh, toss this thing out there, get a feel for the action, and then we're gonna hope to put this thing into action and catch a big bass. So let's just go ahead and flick this thing out here. We have the bill in it. It obviously sits there and floats and then it has a nice wobble oh my gosh that looks beautiful dude the body is just so wide it's actually kind of crazy dude that is one of the craziest one baits i think i've ever thrown just like wiggles along dude that actually looks so good it leaves it leaves an amazing looking trail oh a big bass is going to eat this thing like candy today wow oh that that back little tail too is kicking to make that little wake Ooh, this thing looks really good I've heard if you take the bill out, it kind of just like does something in that action. It just kind of like floats around. It's very interesting, but I definitely can see this thing catching a big fish today. I'm excited. We have a beautiful bank line right in front of us and uh, there's a lot of opportunity. So I'm feeling good. We'll start making our first few casts. Got the old trusty net out today, just in case we get the opportunity to net a monster. All right, we got our wide body floating swim bait. So let's see what we can do with this thing. We're gonna cast it out there with the lip in, that crazy waking action. And we're gonna see if a big fish wants this thing. Oh man, it looks beautiful. It actually looks incredible swimming through the water. I'm so hyped. I could just see a big bass just waiting for one of these things to come by. And when it does, 
it's game over. Like, we honestly might not get a whole lot of bites. Like, we should. I mean, it looks good. But just as big as this swim bait is, I'm expecting a big fish to eat it. It's got some crazy dimensions on it. But hey, it's that time of the year where these fish should be up shallow. They should be feeding on bigger stuff. I think the bluegill are actually spawning at the moment, so this could be perfect. So today, the main goal is to fish this bad boy up shallow and uh, throw it around some structure, whether that's a little bit of submerged grass, trees, all kinds of stuff. This little wake bait is just going to float on by and uh, hopefully get a big bite. So this bait actually has two different models. You have this one, which is the silent version, but there also is a rattle version. Now, I think the rattle version would probably be my go-to, but I do think this one is a little bit more subtle, so it should get more bites. I say subtle, then I throw it out there and this thing hits the water like a brick. Yeah, very subtle. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, hit it, hit it. He's right behind it. Oh, he just nipped it. Dude, he's small. Oh, he just hit it out of the water. All right, so we've had our first bite. That's a very good sign. It honestly, I don't think it was a big fish. I mean, the way he was hitting it, he was just kind of messing with it. Uh, he was up shallow. I know the bluegill was in spawning. Hopefully some big bass are pushed. Wow, I just watched the fish come off that tree. Anyways, there's potential for this bait, for sure. Like we already have a bite in the first five minutes. Like we just gotta find the right fish. And when I say the right fish, I'm talking that four, that five, that six, that seven, that eight, that 10, that 14. We need one of those. Oh, I'm on, we're hooked up. We're hooked up. That was sick. Dude, he smacked it. Did he come off? Oh, we're not hooked up. Never mind. I don't know what's going on. What the heck, dude? I thought it felt weird for a second. I looked down, I moved my trolling motor pedal, and I heard the pop. I guess I didn't really see him take it. Oh, I want to smack it. He's got it. We're hooked up. We're hooked up. Let's go, baby. Oh, he just spit it. No. How do you spit this thing, dude? I pick this thing up and it stabs me eight times, but a fish can somehow spit it. I mean, he didn't look really big. Ah, oh, gosh, man. Okay. Lock it in, lock it in. It's gonna take me a second to get used to this thing. Dude, that one ate it with me sitting here walking it. Like, I'm just sitting here twitching it. Getting that nice dying bluegill look to it. He smacked it. And I just land it. See, that right there frustrates me more than anything. I just missed a fish. He spit my hooks. I cast up shallow on a stick and I'm snagged and snagged even more. Like how, how does that happen? That is the most frustrating thing. Like, oh, okay, cool. A fish gets off, you know, that's, that's fine. You know, I didn't want it to get off. And then you cast up here on a tree and you're stuck and it won't come off. All right, I think for this area that we're in right here, I'm gonna have to pull the lip out. Oh, I just got it, or just broke it. Look at my hand, look how hard that is to get out. Okay, I think I, I think it's still in one piece. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely in one piece. Apparently this gives it a different action and it better for the sacrifice that I just made to get this thing out. Good God, that thing hurt. All right, let's see what this does. Apparently just, Oh, it's basically like a glide bay, a floating glide. Oh, one just came after it. Oh, he came in after it hot. I just gotta catch a fish on it. Ugh, easier said than done, apparently. Jeez, the hookup ratio is a little, a little funky. Well, we've been fishing with this thing for a while now, and what I can go ahead and take away is, uh, I mean, it gets bites, obviously, but I do think that it is a little too wide. This thing is massive, okay? If you're gonna catch a fish on this, it's gonna be pushing the bigger fish because a little fish is not gonna be able to eat this thing. I mean, look at the, look how big and wide this thing is. It's crazy. 
I think the dimensions might cost us some fish today, and I think it already has, but uh, it's definitely getting bites. We're definitely gonna keep casting it, and uh, hopefully we're gonna hook up on one soon. Oh, it's on, we're on. He just came off. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. I'm about to lose it. I'm about to lose it. You have the sharpest freaking hooks, but yet they can't hook a fish. That's what, four, five, maybe even, it's probably about five. Five missed fish on this thing? Dude, I just, I, I don't, I think it's too big. Way too big. If you could shrink it down to like a tiny version, it'd probably be pretty solid. Oh my God. Oh, he freaking missed it. You know why? Because the bait's 80 inches. Dude, it's 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 literally a floating turd. It's that big. Gosh, dude, why is it that big? There's no reason for it to be that big. We're on. We're on. Finally, we're hooked up. Feels decent, but the bait is massive, so I don't know if it's the bait or the fish. Come on, buddy. It's definitely the bait that was making it feel massive. Oh my gosh, finally. Finally, we have a fish. Let me talk some crap about it and we'll maybe get hooked up. I mean, just to kind of give you guys an idea of how big this bait is, let me just like, look at that. Look at this. It doesn't even fit in his mouth. Look. Oh boy, it's been a day. Not the fish that I was hoping for, but hey, he is the first fish of our sixth missed fish. We actually caught one. Thank you, little buddy. See ya. I'm defeated. I just want to go to McDonald's and get, for, get some breakfast and go back to bed. You tell me I woke up at six o'clock for this thing? Frick, man. I don't give up easy, so I guess I'm gonna go back to it. This thing better impress me. If we miss another fish on it, I might cut it off and just chunk it across the lake. Oh, we're on, we're on. Smacked it. Got him on the wake bait, finally. Finally caught one on the wake bait. Come on, get up here. Get up here, barely hooked. Oh my God, he's literally. <laughs> oh, I knew he was gonna shake it. I just knew it. Oh my gosh, this bait. I can't, dude, I can't, I cannot. Oh my god, that's a good one. That's a good one. He missed it. I'm done. I'm done. I'm literally done. Holy crap. There is actually no way. I'm so over this bait. Like, I'm just, I'm over it. There is no way you can miss like nine fish like this. There's just no way. There is just no way. Missed it. <laughs> he ate it. He, I watched him hit it, and he didn't get a hook. Let me just go ahead and tell you. That last fish that smacked it right in front of the boat literally hit it dead center and didn't get a hook. We're on. We're on, finally. Gosh, finally. You can't even make it up. Oh my God, this is just, it's, I'm done. Well, I am currently defeated this morning, so uh, we're gonna pick it back up later. All right, we are back for day number two with our uh, DRT Joker right here. I don't know what happened the other day. I had tons of bites. I just could not land a fish. Um, had a lot of misses. I don't know if the bait's just massive or what, but, Hopefully today we have some better results. That thing just looks so good. It's like, if the hookup ratio was just a little bit better, or if it was smaller, I feel like it could be such a solid bait. Oh, I'm on, we're hooked up, there we go. Smacked it, he's barely hooked. Oh my God, I just spit it. Well, first buy of the day miss that's that's sick uh set the hook had him on i saw that he was barely hooked but once he jumped he spit it and honestly not very surprised but he absolutely 
smacked the swim bait. So we're just going to hope to eventually catch one today. Um, that's all I can say. I have no other words. It's a big one. It's a big one. It's a big one. Oh my god. It's a monster. Oh my god, don't spit it. 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 Please. Please don't spit it. Oh gosh. It's a big one. It's a big one. I'm flipping him. Maybe. Yes. Let's go. Woo. Well, right there. I think all the struggles have paid off. I mean, we have missed countless fish, landed on top of this one, and he smacked the joker. I mean, this is the fish to eat it. Look at the mouth on this bad boy. Beautiful, absolute stud, super fat, super healthy. We're gonna wait on her, send her back. This is the second landed fish. We've had so many bites today. Let's see, feels like it might be spawned out. I don't really know. Holy crap, that thing smacked it as soon as it hit the water, I put the lip back in and uh, that seemed to be the best way to do it whenever you're fishing in the wind. But let's see what we got here. We got a 5.3, little five pounder. I feel like I've des I deserved this after so missing so many fish. Hey, at least it held the one that we needed. What a beautiful fish, man. Just look at the colors on that thing. Absolutely gorgeous. Well, the DRT Joker finally pays off with a nice five pounder. We're gonna go ahead, send it back. Beautiful fish, put up an amazing fight. Absolutely smashed the swim bait. And uh, that is the fish to do it. So let's get her back. All righty, you ready? See you later. Oh, you're gonna hang around? There she goes. Well, after countless misses, I don't even know how many fish I've missed on this thing. We finally got the right fish. That's the one we've been looking for, a five pounder. I mean, just the noise it made when he smacked this thing was crazy. I just wanna kinda of go over what I think about this bait. Not only is the trolling motor dying at the moment, but we don't have much time to fish because of that, but I've fished this bait enough to know exactly what's up with it. I think the action and everything, top tier. I mean, 10 out of 10, but the hookup ratio a little questionable. I mean, obviously on a big fish like that, no problem. Cause I mean, the mouth on that thing was huge. It could have actually eaten this thing. But these smaller fish, they cannot get this massive wide body bait like this. And I mean, these hooks are very sharp. I don't know, I think it's just a little too big. It's too wide, it's too fat bodied. It honestly looks like a turd floating around the water. I'm not even gonna lie. Has an amazing action. It's just, it's so wide, it's so fat. And I get that's probably for a reason to make that really nice wake, but uh, it's just a big lure. And I think it floats a little high up in the water column and uh, it could be difficult for these smaller fish to eat it. But the big one, the one that mattered, crushed it. We got him, five pounder. I feel like I've earned that two days of just watching fish smash this thing and not be able to get hooked. So I feel good. I'm gonna cast all the way back to the boat ramp because like I said, trolling motor battery is dead and uh, we actually are stuck on the grass right now we're on the bank so it's gonna be interesting getting back but uh hey if we can catch another five pounder i might just like this bait a little bit more because currently i think everything's good with it besides the hookup ratio which is probably 90 percent of the most important part of a lure and uh currently was hating it now i might be liking it just a little bit more <sighs> we'll see We'll see. Oh, that was so sick. Gosh, I needed that bite. Like as soon as it hit the water, I started cranking it. He just clocked it. Oh, maybe I don't hate this thing after all. Maybe I like it just a little bit. I just, I think if there was a smaller version that wasn't as fat, I would love it. Cause it has a beautiful action, beautiful color, looks good. It's just, it's hard to hook a fish sometimes. This wake one, you just like whenever the wake builds in, you just want to kind of find that nice little breeze push on the bank line. 
I think that's that's the best way to get by to this thing. Oh, I'm on. Oh, it's another good one. Oh, God. Another decent one. Another decent one. Stay on. I looked away and he crushed it. Oh, he's actually not that big. He just ate it weird. But not a bad fish, though. Come on, buddy. Come on. Flipping him up. Get up here. Yes. We got another one. Oh, my gosh. It's all coming together. My, my time and effort is finally paying off. Maybe I'm actually kind of figuring this thing out. I uh, was reeling it, looked good, turned away, heard a little skadoosh, turn around, we're hooked up. All right, well, this is the third fish we have hooked, second one for day two. Not a bad one, man. He absolutely smacked it. I know one thing, when you can actually hook a fish with this, them hooks are sticky, but uh, nothing crazy, decent fish. I mean, the noise it made when he smacked it was insane. We're going to get him back and keep casting. Who knows? We might catch another five another six a 14 we could we could do anything okay the possibilities are endless once i figure this thing out see bud there he goes the bait looks amazing don't get me wrong but after the first day of fishing i absolutely hated this thing and i'm not gonna lie a little bit of day two i hated this thing but honestly might be getting the hang of it i'm kind of liking it i mean the hooks are sharp i just think it's got to be the perfect way for these fish to eat it for them to actually get hooked because like i said that is a big body bait right here. Check this. I mean, look at the bill. That's how wide the bait is. Like, that's crazy. Oh, boy. Man, that was an interesting time. Hey, the 5.3 five, five pounds are worth it. So worth it. All right, right there. We just got off of the pond throwing the DRT Joker. Now, at first, I thought the bait was kind of a joke. Had a crazy action, looked really good. Fish were eating it up, just could not hook a fish. So after probably, it was at least eight, eight bites the first day, I was like, I can't do this anymore. I wanted McDonald's breakfast, and you know what? I wouldn't have gotten McDonald's breakfast. Did I deserve it? No, but did I want it? Yes. So I left, I was like, I need a refresh with this bait because this is just not happening. And uh, we came back today, missed the three pounder right away, which sucked, it got off spit it and then we were biteless there for a pretty long time then finally hooked a 5.3 really good fish really healthy fish absolutely crushed it we really needed that i needed that for me confidence wise and uh, it was a nice fish then we got around the corner caught another decent one but uh, just the five pounder makes my day started off not really liking the bait just i felt like it was too big too wide but uh, the action was killer but finally we started to hook some fish and uh, I might kind of like it a little bit now. So it was fun. It's nice trying out new swim baits. That thing is definitely very unique and interesting. And uh, I feel like if it's fished correctly, it can catch some really big fish. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay fishing.